Adam Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. Our guest today, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, please welcome country newcomer Bailey James. How are you, Bailey? I'm great. Thank you for having me. So, all right. Now, um, you're only, what, like 15, 16? I'm 16. So, you're, you're, I mean, you've been doing this for a while, though, but you're, uh, you're, you're coming into country music into Nashville, um, and you're still you're still in high school. Yeah. All right. I so, started when I was 11. Wow. I was knocking on the record labels doors when I was 11 with nothing. Mm -hmm. Just like I have nothing on my resume, but sign me, please. Well, I mean, when you consider that you know the success of country artists like uh, Leanne Rhymes, Tanya Tucker was 13 yeah. when she, you know she released Delta Dawn. Uh, how has the reception been for you? Um, very good, actually. They seem to really uh, appreciate my music and what I sing because I wouldn't say that my lyrics, I mean, my lyrics, I'm an old soul, and so my lyrics kind of show that I'm an old soul. I don't act like I'm 16. Okay, well, um, the lyric, you write your own songs. I do. What were your influences? I mean, what did you grow up listening to? I mean, did mom and dad play? Yeah, yeah, my grandma actually, she sang Amazing Grace to me. That was the first song I ever learned. And good then, song. Yeah, a very good song. And then we would be in the car on my way to like ballet and stuff when I was like six or seven. And my dad would be singing like Johnny Cash, like Walk the Line and Folsom Prison Blues. Mm -hmm. And so those songs kind of got like imprinted into my brain. And mm -hmm. I started listening to Patsy and Hank when I was about 11, and really old, old country stuff. And my friends were listening to like Gosh, Ariana Grande and like the pop stuff, and they're like, "What are you listening to?" Also, good artists. Also. Yes, also mm -hmm. amazing artists. You'll take but... nothing from Ariana Grande. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, that's kind of my influences is really the old country stuff mm -hmm. and a lot of soul and um, blues, which you can tell when you listen to my music. Yeah. But... Well, how how do you translate that in into this traditional background and and um, this desire, this love for? Like you mentioned, like you know, Patsy and, and all of the you know the, the great traditional old artists. How do you translate that into a, a sound that that kind of works today? Um, well, it naturally kind of happens. At first, when I first came out, I did an EP that was very very country and mm -hmm. not so um, modern country. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, well, I want to make stuff that's a little bit more modern mm -hmm. so everyone can listen to it. And it just kind of happened on its own. My music and my sound is constantly evolving as I get older and listen to more artists. Mm -hmm. And really what I write on a day like depends on what artists I'm listening to. So I'm kind of just influenced by what I listen to. And also, I mean, it just happens naturally. I really don't force it. Okay. So Laura, well, then let's talk about your current project, uh, Devil Won't Take Me Down. Yes. All right. Um, now, that the title seems fairly straightforward. What's the song about? The song, so I lost my brother to suicide, he was 18, mm -hmm. about two years ago, and then that same year my dad lost his job, so it was an extremely hard year for us, and me and my dad felt like, I mean, the both of us definitely felt like we were getting up every day and like having to force ourselves to still mm -hmm. like go out and live normal and have a job, because he owns a landscaping company, mm -hmm. well he doesn't own it, but he works for the landscaping company, and I have to sing and do music, and we have like normal everyday jobs, well, technically. Mm -hmm. And um, so we wrote Devil Won't Take Me Down with some really amazing writers. It was Steve O'Brien, Jeannie uh, McQuinn, I think, and um, Julie Downs. It was three writers in the room with us. And we wrote Devil Won't Take Me Down just about trying to get through those times because mm -hmm. I feel like so many normal everyday people go through the same things as we had to go through. Mm -hmm. And when you're an artist, people look at you and think you have the most perfect life. And I wanted to show them that, no, I, I go through the same things as you, and I'm just trying to push through. So Devil Won't Take Me Down is a healing song for me. Okay. And you actually, um, you do work with, uh, like, suicide prevention yes. and, and suicide awareness. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, the Jason Foundation. They are a nonprofit uh, organization out of Hendersonville, and they bring awareness to teen suicide and suicide in general. The founder, Clark Flat lost his son at 18, the same age I lost my brother. And we had joined prior to him passing just because I saw what he was struggling with every day. He had really severe depression, and I thought, well, if I can help other people mm -hmm. and I can bring awareness, then that's what matters. And then after he passed, it was even more important because for some reason, suicide is such a taboo subject, mm -hmm. and I, I don't get it because it happens so often. And so I try to bring as much awareness. I wrote a song called Won't Be Silent for a campaign I did with the Jason Foundation. And they have ambassadors like Charlie Daniels and Rascal Flatts, and so being their first teen spokesperson is really, I'm grateful. 
I, uh, maybe maybe one of the reasons that it's taboo to talk about it is because it happens so often, and it's it's so it's such a deeply personal thing, and people are just yeah. they're just not comfortable with it. But talking about it could literally save lives. It, it could save yeah. lives, and I know that talking about it has healed me in more ways than anything else because I can talk about it now, and like it's just a normal thing. Like it happened, and yes, I mean I still go through the emotions of it, but I'm trying to help people. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. Okay. All right, so um, the single is uh, Devil Won't Take Me Down. Yes. If you want to hear it, make sure you call us at Kix96. Uh, Kix96. We'll be happy to play it for you. So if folks um, who hear your music uh, on, on our station and, and, and on our interview here, if folks that hear this music decide that they are the biggest Bailey James fans <laughs> in the whole world and they want to find more of you, where do they look on the internet? You can find me on all of my social medias. I'm very active. I answer as many people as possible. It's all Bailey James gang. Mm -hmm. And it's her generation that's good at it. So, yes. I mean, people like me, I stumble around. Her dad asked me, do you have an Instagram? I'm like, I think so, if that's what I'm thinking it is. I'm not sure. It's the one with all the colors, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's the one with all the colors. So, make sure you look for Bailey James and uh, call us at Kix96 if you want to hear the record. And Bailey, thanks for coming and visiting Thank us. Thank you for having me. All right. And we'll see you next time on another artist video blog kicks96country.com